Hi everyone, so today I'm going to be showing you how to make some newspaper targets in a quick way. Uh, this is my method that I found to save me a lot of time. I've also had a few questions about my tripod, so I'll pop up an image of my tripod. It's a pretty budget solution, but it does the job. Um, so normally when making newspaper targets and you get your newspaper, you roll them up, tape them up, soak them in water, and you need to soak them for a few hours, usually about four, four-ish hours, uh, for the water to penetrate all the layers. Um, and then you need to take it out and let it dry for a couple of hours because it's soaking wet and then after that then you can cut it. So the whole ordeal takes maybe six hours uh, at best if not overnight and another day. Uh, but I've got a method because I don't have six hours to waste every single time when I want to go cutting. So I've got a method that I use which is a little bit faster and I'll walk you through that. Um, what you need is just some newspaper. Um, when you're getting newspaper Please be mindful that other people want it if you're getting it from free newspapers. So I go at the end of the day and I take a handful of it so that other people can still get their newspapers. Alright, so we're out here on my balcony. Um, here's my setup. I've got masking tape, seven newspapers, uh, I've got my water, I've got a tub, and I've got uh, the lid. And I've also got the stick that I'm going to put the, the roll onto when I'm all done with it. Uh, this is pretty important because if you roll it without it, then you probably won't be able to fit it back on it. So you don't actually need that much water. So I've just got enough so I can fill the top so I can submerge one piece of flat newspaper because I don't need to submerge a whole roll. So that's all the, new, that's all the water that I need. It's not very much. Now do this with your dry hands because once when they're wet, you're going to have a tough time doing it. Take your newspapers and split them into the middle. Right, so there's a lot of construction noise in the background so I hope you can hear me. Uh, what I've done is I've laid them offset so I can grab one newspaper at a time. And grab one newspaper, keep it flat and just soak it. And you want to press down so that the water goes over the whole surface. After you're done with that, then shake off the excess. And then just lay it flat on your lid. And then rinse and repeat for the rest of your newspapers. Alright, so now that I've got all my papers soaked, I've put them on the lid, and this is the most important part. You've got to press the papers so that they're flat. This helps the water soak in as well as the excess water coming out quicker. Once when I've flattened it, I get my stick. And I roll it up. And what I want to do is I want to have the longest roll possible so I have more height to cut. So you, you roll along your short side. Right, and we're rolling it. Because you've got the pin in, you can roll it as tight as you can. It makes it harder to cut, gives you a better, gives you a better exercise in cutting it. Right, so here's my seven newspaper roll, and I get my masking tape, and I'm just going to tape it in three places. After that, just let it dry. I'm going to let it dry for about half an hour, and I'm going to go have my lunch, and I'm going to come back, and it should be ready to cut. So it's been about 45 minutes, and I had my lunch, and now it's sufficiently dry. Uh, all it needs to be is so it's not dripping. If you don't have time to dry it, you can just cut it straight after you make it, but then it makes it a mess to clean up. Uh, I think it's time to cut this. Alright, I hope you guys enjoyed that video, including my terrible first cut. Newspaper targets are easy to make, um, they're cheap, they can be free, uh, and it's, it's good training. I forgot how hard a seven newspaper uh, seven newspaper roll is to cut. I hope you guys go out and train hard. Thanks for watching.